Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits today looking at another beer that was sent to me from eProvarium.pl Great Bullish Retro guys, check it out. They have a great selection of off Bullish craft beer like this one. And this one guys is from Broba Shapiv. I think that's how you say it. And this is their tune. So I think I'm pronouncing it right. I probably am not, but yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you guys. Will correct me, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. So this is a 8.1% Belgian IPA, I guess you'd call it. This is a mix of a Belgian triple and an IPA. And it's hot with Seuss, Saz, and Amarillo. So sounds awesome, guys. So without further ado, let's get this one cracked. So I got the Shapiv Tune board, and that looks awesome. The guy is very hazy orange and then a really thick, rich, dense, Kind of off white head to it. Let's check out the aroma on it. Oh, lots of like grapefruit and citrus. Sweet citrus. And there's got, it's got that kind of Belgian y doughy breadiness, like yeasty, peppery, almost like clovey and kind of those kind of notes as well. And like white grapes. But you also get like sweet citrus, as I said, some grapefruit, mandarin orange, tangerine orange, definitely like orange forward. And really usually gives up, gives up a lot of orange, I think. But also some floral nose. Yeah, it smells pretty good. So let's give the Shlapiv Chun a taste. Cheers and thanks a bunch to e providing for the beer. Oh, that's carbonated. That's pretty nice. More so triple on the flavor, I think, than, uh, than the IPA flavors. It's still pretty nice, but it's it, yeah, definitely tastes more trouble. Like you got that kind of chewy mouthfeel, medium body, and you get like white pepper, clove, white grape, pear uh, flavors, maybe a little bit of stone fruit, but there's also some citrus character, some lemon, some orange, some sweet citrus fruit, white pepper, kind of clovey flavor as well. Yeah, very much kind of a marriage between a triple and an IPA because it's definitely more hoppy than your average kind of Belgian style triple. But it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice stuff. Uh, I know a lot of the people uh, from Poland who watch my reviews told me that this was one of their favorites from the box I got sent. And it's definitely pretty nice. And it's pretty tasty stuff. Just a very hard name to pronounce for a, a day. <laughs> so, uh, tasty stuff, guys. Really like the mouthfeel, the nice effervescence, like really dead on with the effervescence and everything for triples. And it's got those kind of nice slight stone fruit fruits, like kind of grassy flavors as well with the citrus and the grapefruit. And kind of flat, freshly baked bread and stuff like that. Yeah, this is pretty good stuff. Um, definitely a beer I'd recommend, especially if you're into triples and you like the more hoppy ones. This is really good stuff. So rating wise for the Shapiv Tune, <laughs> Belgian triple mixed with IPA, Belgian IPA. Straight up night meat. It's pretty nice. It's dead on for a triple, but then you get that nice kick of kind of American modern hops with the floral notes and the grapefruity citrus notes and everything. So if you're into the more Belgian beers, but you want more kick of hops in your beer, this is something for you for sure. So this is really nice stuff. So guys, if you get the chance, definitely check out the Shapiv Chun <coughs> Belgian IPA. Good stuff, guys. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of this bad boy if you've had it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers, guys. See you in the beer.